Man, in today's video, I wanna talk about the trend of where you find value in a partner and all of these people that have these preferences and say that they would be settling for somebody less than their preferences. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, it's very important that you look at the definition of the word preference, okay? You know, there are some biblical deal breakers that men and women, you know, should be focused on rather than all of this foolishness that they get focused on, you know? Man, there is a show out there called Pop the Balloon or Find Love, and I think the young lady's name is uh, Arlette. And what a lot of men and women don't realize is they come on these shows, this is something that she set up uh, in hopes of getting people a shot at finding love. And she is also a covered woman. She's also a married woman. So a lot of these, even though she might he he and ha ha with you, you know, she is a married woman, has the mindset of a married woman, where a lot of these women think that they can relate to her when they're launching off their preferences and she's asking you to articulate a lot of women don't understand that. And what I'm getting at is, man, there's a lot of people out here that would be good in your life, but due to your vain preferences, you know, uh, these people never get the time of day. Let me give you an example. You know, if you are a woman and you have these height preferences you know I want you to think about this you go to a city like Atlanta where there's a plethora of men you know you might find a guy that's 6'3", six, 6'4", six, meet that height preference but guess what due to your geographical location uh, he's probably prone to have an effeminate spirit or uh, when push comes to shove you know, he might have the appearance of masculinity, but might have the spirit of a bitch. That's just something, and you have to ask yourself, are you truly, is that truly what you want? Or, I know, you know, if we take another angle, I know oftentimes women equate height to being a protector, but what if you have a man that's tall, meets your height's preference, but he's soft? far as can't, can't fend for himself or protect you. You know, you discredit a lot of guys uh, that actually are great protectors. Okay, another one for men. You know, oftentimes this culture has taught you to give your time to the dom, the diva, you know, the chick that's a nine or a 10. And then you find out that, you know, she had it popping visually but she's, uh, you know, morally void. Her character is flawed. There's a lot of good people that never get the time of day and, and men and women say, well, I'm not settling for that. You know, a common thing amongst educated women is, you know, they think that their education, and this is why the divorce rate is so high amongst educated women, they equate their education to shifting the power dynamic and the authority of headship in the relationship over to them. You know, you get educated and now uh, you got a degree and now all of a sudden you have to 
uh, date a millionaire or he has to have a higher level of education and you are disqualifying yourself from a lot of qualified men. Because I'll tell you this, it's a lot of educated uh, men and women. It's a lot of successful men and women that will not make it into the kingdom of the most high because of their uh, iniquity, because of their lawless ways. You know, you have to think, man, if you can find a guy and he can provide, that provision is the provision of your needs. That provision is not uh, wants. So oftentimes women get this misconstrued and they miss out on a lot. If a guy can potentially, uh, you know, provide a roof over your head. Nobody said it's going to be a mansion, you know, but you got a roof over your head. If you can go to the grocery store and that man can swipe his card to make sure there's food in the house and that card don't get declined, man, you're looking at some essential things of being a provider. If that man uh, has the spirit to tell you about yourself when you uh, stray left or stray right, man, you're looking at uh, a man that wants to be a spiritual covering. You know, uh, if this man has a relationship with the Most High Yah and is walking in the ways of righteousness, man, you're looking at somebody that's qualified. But oftentimes, you know, uh, that man will get discredited. You know, he don't look a certain way. Doesn't the word say beauty is vain and charm is deceitful? So when you look at a lot of these preferences amongst men and women, it has to do with a lot of vanity. You know, uh, a woman will look at a guy in a pair of work boots uh, and some jeans and say he looks dusty. He don't look well put together. But you're not realizing that this guy has the consistency that if he keeps on, you know, his, his path is pretty much always already written, you know, because you don't have to worry about this joker being fine and lazy, fine and wanting to be a model. But when y'all grocery shop, uh, the car is getting declined because he ain't got no modeling work. You know, you don't have to worry about that. And this is why I'm talking about this, because you got men out there that they want the woman with the, the 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 long weave down her hair. They want the woman with the fake butt and uh, the big booty and got Instagram got to be popping. And you are missing out on a lot of people that have better character than the people that you are entertaining. You know, a woman's education has nothing to do with her ability to be a wife, you know, to be a mother. You want to make sure uh, the women have a nurturing spirit a submissive, modest, and meek. You possibly entertaining these, you you possibly have been walking by the woman that's fully covered, that's meek and got a quiet spirit. You might call her a nerd. You might say something's wrong with her. In your eyes, in a worldly view, you might say she's a, she's a four or a five and you have been entertaining uh, these nines and tens in your eyes and they ain't amounted to nothing. You ain't found none of them worth that you wanted to commit to. You know, uh, make it elevating their status from uh, unbetrothed, you know, to a betrothed and to a wife. It's, it's so much stuff, man. I'll tell you, a lot of men and women don't realize you'd be better off in the ranges of four to six than you would seven, you know, to 10, according to worldly standards. You'd be better off. These people are going to be a little bit more grateful towards you. They're going to work harder. Uh, to make sure the needs and the relationship is met where you have some of these nines and tens that think that they don't have to do nothing. Think that they don't have to do nothing. They think that they are the greatest gift and they are the trophy. And then you're not going to realize, you realize that these, these are the people that don't bring anything to the table. And if they do bring something to the table, it's worthless in the realm of how does it help foster uh, a strong relationship, a strong marriage. You see what I'm saying? Oh, uh, see, uh, if a woman is successful and has her own business, that doesn't translate that she will be a good wife. You know, she will be a a, a good mother. Oftentimes, you, you are focusing your attention on men and women that are very selfish. Another thing, a woman would pass, a guy, pass up a guy who's got an old pickup truck. You know, it's paid off, no car note. Live on his own, maybe about 5'10", 5'11", at most maybe got a little belly, 
and they would pass him up in a heartbeat for a guy uh, that's a model, that's 6'2", he's effeminate, you know, he says he's an entrepreneur. As soon as a man say he's an entrepreneur, you're like, oh yeah, you know, he's a, you know, he's an entrepreneur, not a nine to five. That's the kind of stuff some women have preference. They'd be like, I don't want a guy with a nine to five. You're also saying you you want a guy, uh, you entertain guys that's inconsistent. A lot of these men that women entertain that are entrepreneurs, they say that to uh, pretty much tickle your ears, but they don't have a consistent job. You find out after you then and then been with these men, yeah, this dude ain't who he say he was. Say he had all this going on the same way women lie. You can see a guy uh, working on in construction, working on the Department of Transportation, working on the roads. You will overlook him, not thinking that okay, this guy been working for the DOT for 13 years. Whereas you are entertain somebody that don't have no doggone job. And it's constantly, you don't want no man that's constantly uh, chasing his goals and dreams and forsaking the needs of the family. You don't want that. You, you know, A lot of women are looking for these men with these Jordans, they got swag and they got jewelry and he drive the, 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 the Beamer, but you're not looking into the substance of, okay, uh, that man, that man might be doing credit card theft. That man might be scheming in order to have this. That man is in debt up to his neck although he has all of the vanity that you like he can't provide for you this is why you get with these men and you're wondering why you got to get evicted and all of this you getting with with jokers that don't have uh substance they don't have characters they don't have values you see what i'm saying see the men and women that get with the the the, the fours through the sixes and i'm just using that as a range you're able to build something with somebody because generally both parties are equally invested and when i'm talking about a four to five six that's a to the world they gonna seem like ones but there's people in front of you men and women that have good character that have morals that have values you got men out here that are qualified to lead but because you know they don't meet your particular preferences you overlook them and you're gonna let me tell you something the, the lady that does pop uh pop the balloon or find love she's married she just ain't out here as a single woman uh trying to host this show she's covered she's covered and you gotta think how crazy all of your preferences sound when you've had these preferences for 30 40 50 years and you you damn near battle you're gonna be on your deathbed as a man or a woman and you will die alone. You will die alone with nobody there uh, to hold your hand except immediate family members. I'm telling you, man, there's a, you know, oftentimes on this channel, it might sound like I'm talking crazy about the vanity of men and women being worthless, but I'm trying to get people's minds, get your mind stimulated into what matters. How fine a man is does not matter when you when you are having to work uh, 40 to 60 hours as a woman because he's lazy. You know, uh, you know, being with a man that you call a nine or a 10 that all these women won't, you know, ain't no good if this man don't take care of his kids. This man is constantly stepping out on you, but according to you, he's fine. You know, men out here, there's no, there's no, uh, prosperity getting with a woman who has the spirit of a harlot and she's constantly putting out thirst. There ain't no, it's, it's gonna be problematic. So you have to ask yourself, man, how how uh, influential, how impactful are my preferences to the success of a relationship? Or are they vain or are they worthless? Because you look at a lot of these uh, men and women that say they won't settle, predominantly it's the women that say they won't settle and they miss out on a lot of good guys. And oftentimes when you miss out on these people, uh, a woman will roast you to the point where she can't even spin the block and come back. By the time she spins the block and try to come back, once she realized there ain't no better options out there, uh, she's pretty much burnt that bridge and insulted that man. And, and, and that's the way it is. I tell you, man, looking, you'd be surprised. People ask, man, where can you find a, a good man or a good woman. There's not a, 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 
a specific location where you can you can find them. You know, there's some instances where you probably don't want to find uh, people, but you need to be looking for the right things. You need to be looking, okay, does this person, you know, if a man in these last days or woman has a relationship with the Most High Yah, and that relationship can be shown and tested by the fulfillment of the word of the Most High Yah, you're dealing with something rare. You're dealing with something rare. See, you sit back and have a preference, well, they got to be a Christian, but they uh, they, they don't follow nothing outlined in the book. That, that ain't gonna do you no good, you know? You know, if you have a a, a woman who, who says, okay, man, I'm, I, I wanna have some kids, but I wanna be married first, you, you, you will sit up and lay down with a woman that will give you a, a one night stand over choosing a woman that values marriage. You know, you, you, a woman will get with a man that has, uh, uh, his main goal is to be a millionaire and none of his goals have to do with, uh, raising kids, getting married. And you wonder why you're going to end up a baby mama. See your preferences got to line up with the will of Yah. If they don't line up with the will of Yah, don't be, don't be surprised when you didn't end up, ended up in this abstract or foreign situation acting like you don't know why, you know? Man, I see all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, you know, I had a soldier that he said he, he swore up and down he was looking for a good woman and all of this, but the good he was talking about was nothing more than the lust of his eyes. And you know what kind of woman he hitched himself to? A, a, a stripper. And he was stressed out because uh, when she got pregnant, you know, he was worried about whose baby it was and uh, you know, he know he hadn't seen her for two or three days, but that was his idea of good. And it didn't amount to anything. It's the same thing. You can overlook a lot of good men that have good jobs, are able to provide, and you will sit up and, and settle for uh, a dope dealer because he has a wad of money and can buy you the Birkin bag. But guess what? When he gets arrested, you're not being provided for when he's in prison. You're not uh, making, he not making sure that some food is in the house. It was short lived. You overlooked the guy that can consistently make sure you got meat, vegetables, fruit, you know, snacks and stuff like that in the fridge. You overlooked him because you was worried about, uh, you know, this dope dealer that all the women wanted. This man had uh, three kids that he barely even take care of. He don't teach his kids anything. I'm telling you, man, this stuff causes uh, your own ignorance is what's going to cost you to not have relationship success. Your own vain preferences is what's going to cost you not to have relationship success. I tell you, in these last days, as, va as vain as people has become, as selfish and wicked as people are become, and this is outlined in the Bible, man, lovers of money, man, I'll tell you, you be better off with a good four or uh, a four through six as a man, you know, far as appearance wise. But you, you, you rather have a joker who's fine as a man or a woman that's constantly stepping out on you. You know, too friendly is what I say. Then to have that, that person that's a four, a five, or a six, and they coming home happy to see you. You know, when you, when you, when you get home, man, she, she's asking you how your day was, got some food prepared for you, wasting your time with these fools. See, you ain't gonna be able to piece together uh, your idea of what good is. It's always gonna fail you. Either they got the spirit in them that's good because biblically there's good and there's evil. There ain't no gray area. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. Bow.